third story is about death when i was 17 i read a quote that went something like if you live is day as if it was your last some day you will most certainly be right it made an impression on me and since then for the past 33 years i have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself if today were the last day of my life would i want to do what i am about to do today and whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row i know i need to change something this is the third unit of stay hungry stay foolish students and it is for you steve jobs says that when he was 17 he had read a quote that uh, that was like this if you live is day as if it was your last if a person thinks that every day that he is passing is the last day of his life definitely one day will come he will be certainly right so this quote made impression in his mind for the last 33 years when every morning he looks his face in the mirror he asks himself if today were the last day of my life if today were the last day of my life would i want to do what i am about to do today what i am about to do today really do i want to do that and if the answer is coming no then he has to change he has to change remember that i will be dead soon is the most important tool i have ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life so when you are going to make the big choices in your life you have to think that you are going to die soon because almost everything all external expectations all pride all fear of embarrassment or failure these things just fall away in the face of death when you think about death when you think about your final day ija then you will not think about external expectations means what others are expecting out of you is not important what you expect out of you is very important all pride the things in which you take pride your materialistic possessions will be meaningless to you all fear of embarrassment if you are embarrassed if you are insulted that will go away no time there to think about your embarrassment your failure these things just fall away in the face of death living only what is truly important remembering that you are going to die is the best way i know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose when you start thinking you have something to lose then you start fearing this fear is more dangerous than the real death you are already naked there is no reason not to follow your heart means what is there to lose you what is there to lose if you think there is nothing to lose then you will definitely follow your heart about a year ago i was diagnosed with cancer i had a scan at 7:30 in the morning and it clearly showed a tumor on my pancreas there was pancreatic cancer a tumor i didn't even know what a pancreas was the doctor told me this was almost certainly a type of cancer that is incurable the doctor is telling this is incurable and that i should expect to live no longer than 3 to 6 months my doctor advised me to go home and get my affairs in order which is doctor scored for prepare to die it means to try to tell your kids everything you thought you'd have the next 10 years to tell them in a just few months as a father if i start thinking that you have to die in next 3 to 6 months definitely what you have planned to tell your kid in the next 10 years you have to be mentally prepared to tell them in the next 3 to 6 months it means to make sure everything is buttoned off so that it will be as easy as possible for your family definitely a person would want to make it easy for his family before his death it means to say you goodbyes i lived with that diagnosis all day later that evening i had a biopsy 
students you should understand the difference between biopsy and autopsy where they stock an endoscope down my throat through my stomach and into my intestines put a needle into my pancreas and got a few cells from the tumor i was sedated but my wife who was there told me that when they viewed the cells under a microscope the doctor started crying when they saw the doctor started seeing that cells brought from pancreas from that place where there was tumor they started crying because it turned out to be a very rare form of pancreatic cancer that is curable with surgery so they thought that was a rare form of pancreatic cancer and that is curable i had the surgery and i am fine now this was the closest i have been to facing death and i hope it is the closest i get for a few more decades having lived through it i can now say this to you with a bit more certainty that when death was a useful but fuel intellectual concept so death is a useful concept it is an intellectual concept it creates your intelligence it starts making you think something big making you think that really your heart wants to tell you we never follow our heart we follow what our surrounding say about us what others say about us we fear failure such type of bad things such type of bad things our mind is made up but if we start thinking that this is the last day which i am leaving then definitely you will follow your heart and you will love to do what is most important to you no one wants to die even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there and yet death is the destination we all share it is the destination that we all share no one has ever escaped it in our odia bhagavat also there is martya mandale deha bahi devata hoile marai and that is that is as it should be because death is very likely the single best invention of life death is the single best invention of life it is life's change agent life doesn't change itself when there is some threat some pressure life wants to change it clears out the old to make way for the new right now the new is you but some day not too long from now you will gradually become the old and be cleared away sorry to be so dramatic but it is true if you follow bhagavad gita the same thing has been depicted there your time is limited we do not have enough time we do not have given enough opportunity freedom regarding time it is limited so don't waste it living someone else life why to live someone else life why to follow someone why to copy someone why to make yourself as your parents want to do as your teachers want to do as the society wants you to do no make yourself what really you want to see yourself don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the result of other people's thinking so what is dogma it is it is like thing it is like living in the result of other people's thinking what others will think about me what they will say about me this is very baseless this is very useless don't let the noise of others opinions drown out your own inner voice you have an inner voice and that inner voice should not be drowned by the opinion of others don't care about the opinion of others think about yourself and most important have the courage to follow your heart and intuition you should have the courage you should be brave enough to follow your heart your intuition your sixth sense is telling you something where you can do you can get success follow that they somehow already know what you truly want to become your heart knows your intuition knows what you really want to become the society doesn't know everything else is secondary everything else is secondary when you think about this intuition 